Welcome everybody to Top Shelf Tuesday. I am back. I'm back from San Diego. Today we will be doing a special Cartier edition. Uh, as I told many of you last week, I attended the Cartier Watch Salon in San Diego, California. So I want to share with you my experience. But before I do that, I'll do a quick wrist check. Today I'm wearing stainless steel Cartier Roadster. Automatic with date. Just kind of a little something to show you all Cartier wise. I'm also double, double wristed, I'm wearing my Roger Dubuis 45 millimeter Excalibur. And then I borrowed my wife's watch today. If you're watching, honey, happy Valentine's Day and thanks for lending me your watch. So today I wanted to show this um, Cartier Santos. And one of the reasons I'm showing the Santos is because that was a big. Uh, uh, that was the big intro for, for Cartier this year. Um, I bought this actually from Govberg. Um, it was a pre-owned watch for Christmas. So as you can see, not only do I sell the watches, I'm a, I also buy the watches. All right, so today's show is gonna be all about Cartier and uh, my experience. First part's gonna be a little bit of how I got there and then we're gonna get right into the watches. So I hope you all enjoy. Uh, my documentary on the Cartier Watch Salon, and I want to give a special thanks to everybody at Cartier for allowing me to do this. Enjoy. So this is uh, me getting ready in the uh, Philadelphia airport, landing in uh, sunny San Diego after about 10 hours uh, of flying because I couldn't catch a direct flight. Thankfully, I was. Uh, I was upgraded to uh, business class. That brutal, but That's me after just getting beat up <laughs> after a long day. Checking into a uh, beautiful hotel room. This is the um, Fairmont in uh, San Diego, which is about 30 minutes away from the airport. Finally getting into the room. Going to get a quick shower before. Shower. Uh, the wow. dinner that we had at this beautiful five-star restaurant. Very nice. Didn't get to really enjoy the room much because I was there for uh, about 24 hours. I am going to be attending a dinner. And there's the invite to the dinner. 7 p.m. So when I got to the dinner, there was this beautiful atmosphere. You got the fireplace. Obviously, the restaurant is top-notch. Everything done by Cartier is just uh, on another level. Champagne greeting, uh, some more very beautiful scenery, uh, which was actually accentuated by the uh, little touches from uh, Cartier. Uh, here's a little bit of a mood of what it was like at the dinner, the tables, the settings, the ambiance. So everybody that you see there is either working for Cartier or doing a little kumbaya. Everybody's so happy to be there, about to eat a delicious meal. Um, in any case, everybody here is, is either a dealer or a, um, uh, works for Cartier. There's the uh, vice president of Cartier. And here we have Mercedes Abramo, who is the uh, president slash CEO of Cartier North America, flanked by Rudy Chavez, who is the uh, VP of Cartier North America uh, Wholesale. Uh, so that was just them giving a thank you speech. Uh, and finally, the dessert. So the whole meal was, uh, was spectacular. Uh, me being a vegetarian, they even had a vegetarian meal for me. There's the dessert. Finished up with uh, some cigars uh, on the balcony. There's the man, Mr. Rudy Chavez, good friend of mine. And I want to thank him uh, for, for giving me, sharing this great experience with me. So after a short night's sleep, waking up to an espresso, getting ready for my meeting. Weather was a bit off, so I didn't get to even enjoy that. And here we are, right before my meeting. Good morning, Claudio, and <laughs> welcome to Cartier Watch Salon in sunny San Diego. All Please right. have a seat. We'll let the festivities begin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and here we are. And there we are. Godberg watches. Uh, here we are at the Cartier Watch Salon. We're going to be looking at some watches and I'm um, going to be sharing with you uh, all the pieces that uh, Cartier is introducing for their 2018 novelties. So stay tuned. So the new Santos has a quick release mechanism. 
and basically each watch will come in the box on a bracelet mm -hmm. with an additional strap and buckle along with it. The client's very able to switch it back and forth through the mechanism. Basically what you have is you have a button on the back of the case back. Yep. You push the button in, it slides right off. Okay. The strap then, and this is not the strap for this watch, but basically you just feed it right in through the back of the case, the click, and it's in. Nice. Additionally, what we've done is we have a special, and both these are patented devices, we have the ability to change the size of the bracelet. I don't know if you can see, there's a small button there. Yeah. You push the button, the pin pops out, you pull the pin out, and then it comes out. Does it, oh cool, does the pin fall out or no? No, the pin does not the fall pin, out. It doesn't pin come out, okay. Then stick it back in, push the pin down. You're basically looking at, the large size is going to be 47.5 by 39.8 millimeters, and the midsize will be 41.9 by 35.1 millimeters. And it comes in stainless steel and two-tone, right? Steel and gold. Mm -hmm. Solid gold. What is what is this one retail for? That's the uh, large Santos. That one retails for uh, 68.5. 6,800. That's the no. steel price. The steel and gold retails for 10.4. 10.4. Okay, but the stainless version. Um, so this is the larger version. Right. That's cool. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And here's a smaller version. Correct. And here's the Russian steel also. And it's cool because the watch will come in the box on a bracelet, but we'll have a strap and a buckle along. All right, tell me a little bit about this. So Cartier's had a lot of success doing the skeleton models. Um, basically, we've done them in tank. We've done, uh, and it's been a couple of versions of tank. We've done it in Santos. This is the first time where we're doing a skeleton, though, mm -hmm. in stainless steel. And we take the new innovations of the Santos watch, whether it's the quick release mechanism or the ability to the quick link adjustment. Very, very cool watch. Yeah, I like this. That stainless steel skeleton retails for 26.8. It only comes in one size. And it's just an automatic, right? Correct. We, uh, I'm sorry, it's a mechanical manual line. Oh, it's, it's right. There it is. Yeah. Um, and then basically we also do it in a rose gold with the strap version. We also do rose gold with two straps. That's and then you can do the quick release and do that. And it looks totally different. Bracelet, the strap, strap, the bracelet, you know. I literally just did that. It's my first time with no practice. There it is. Oops, upside down. That's really nice. That looks really sharp, you know. Let me get some smudging. Do you have a, a selfie clock? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love. Yeah, you can use love. Oh, so, Eric, why don't you tell me a little bit about this? Beautiful watch. So basically, that's from our Santos Dumont collection. The size, it's a 47 by 4 by 36 by 6. White gold metal. It's a manual 430 MC movement. Mm -hmm. Alligator strap, and it's basically the matte enamel tiger decor on the face with the dial of the watch. Retails for 62.5. It's a limited edition numbered of 30 pieces worldwide. That's true. Really here we have something in my wheelhouse. This is the mysterious turbion, right? Double turbion. Double turbion. In platinum. It's 30 piece numbered limited edition. Wow. That's nice. Geneva seal. I know about that. It's a 45 millimeter. 45 mil, so it's a big watch. It's the rotund case. Mm hmm. And it retails for $224,000. Oh, there's the one son de Genève logo. 26 jewels, Cartier, so this is an in-house okay. Cartier movement, designed and made 100% by Cartier. That's beautiful. What was the retail on it again? That one, the price that I quoted you does not have the diamond baguettes on the side. The okay. one with the diamonds that you're actually holding. So it's over 200000 $335,000. That is a limited, numbered limited edition of five. Wow. This is limited edition of five pieces. Correct. Look at that diamond on there. Beautiful. Which is on the dial. You can see the hands behind it. Okay, so you have the the rotor are the two Panthers mm -hmm. and they're tugging at like a ring. 
and that's what winds it. So this is an automatic watch. Mm -hmm. 42 millimeter case size. 42 millimeter case. White gold. Brilliant cut diamonds, emeralds, black lacquer, mother of pearl dial. It's a mouthful. Wow, that's spectacular. Retails for $199,000. $199,000. That's something else. And is it limited? This one, no, this, there's no limit on this. One. Okay, but the, you won't make a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, there's not an endless supply, but. <laughs> so you can see the hour and minute hands. Very cool. Tell me about this. So that's the Panther Love Watch. It's an automatic watch. Mm -hmm. It's set with brilliant cut diamonds, emeralds, and black lacquer. It's 39, the case is 39 millimeters by 31 and a half. Okay, so it's an oval shaped case. Done in white gold. <laughs> and it retails for $224,000. That's it? That's it. Wow. I'll take three. <laughs> Write that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is really remarkable. The setting on this is fantastic. We're jewelers, you know. Yeah. We're jewelers that happen to make timepieces, and our jewelry happens to tell time. This is amazing. Beautiful. Well done. So what do we have here? So there you're looking at the Rotund Mysterious Day Night in Rose Gold. Ah, cool. It's a 40 millimeter case. Retrograde, right? Mm -hmm. So it goes from 60 back to zero. And the sun acts as the hour markers, correct? Mm -hmm. So right now it is 12 noon. And I guess the more we go, there's the star. You're into your PMs. Yep. 6 p.m. Moon comes out. Nice. What's the uh, millimeter? That's 40 millimeter. So it's a 40 millimeter. Manual wow movement. And, Leather uh, strap that retails for $66,500. And then you've got the quick release also on the back there, just in case. The deployment, deployment buckle. Uh, what was the retail? In the uh, rose gold, it's $66,500. Thank you. So here we have the white gold version. A little bit of protective plastic on it, so. And um, 40 millimeter? 40 millimeter, yes. Right now it is midnight. Eric, this is a, Eric, this is a piece that I know many of us have been looking forward to seeing in person. Uh, tell me about, this is called the Revelation. Du Pater. The Panthers. Yes. It basically, there's three patent pendings on it. Look at that beauty. There's 900 gold beads. That it comes in three else. different dial configurations. Comes in black, a red, and a green. Mm -hmm. It retails for $112,000. The red dial is a numbered limited edition of 100 pieces, as is the green dial. That's fantastic. You have brilliant cut diamonds, a black dial, and an alligator strap. It's a manual, mechanical wind watch. It's going to become available in April. Wow. That is something else. That's just a beauty. Shot. So we just finished looking at the Ballon Blue, which has been uh, redone, uh, a little bit different. But this piece. What's this piece called again? The Tank Cintre. Saint Tank Cintre. It is a very cool shaped, very retro looking watch. It's yellow gold. Yellow gold, yes. Is it quartz, automatic? That's a mechanical manual one. Okay, it's a manual one watch. And give me some of the specs on it. So the case is 46 by 23 millimeters. Okay, so it's a long watch rectangular. It's on a brown alligator strap. Mm -hmm. 
It's kind of a vintage 1930s type of a look watch. Yeah. And it retails for $20,400. It's Very a one nice. shot, so there'll be limited production on it, but it's not numbered. Okay, cool. So this is the limited. new, this is the new, uh, I mean, well, it's not the new, it's just the tank. The newest version of the Louis Cartier tank. With the, the Louis bracelet. Cartier tank, now with bracelet in rose gold. It's a light bracelet. Um, I call it the flame bracelet, because each link almost looks like the flame on a candle. Mm -hmm. And what's the retail on this? That oh, yeah. one retails for... So the... Um, the large without diamonds retails for twenty eight seven. The small without diamonds twenty five one. With diamonds, it's thirty one eight and thirty seven four. But this piece exactly as is is that's, what. That's the. Uh, let me see the face. Let me see. Take it for a second. Make sure the size. The. Um, We're learning. We're learning together. Yep. Of course, it does that. So that's the large. That one retails for twenty eight seven. Okay. They're a little pricey. So this is the that's new fifty six hundred dollars. The new drive by Cartier. Oh, yeah, the drive. Mm -hmm. It's an extra flat mechanical manual. Yeah, wound. that's a flat watch, mechanical, so it's manual wound, closed back. Slightly it's, smaller than the traditional. Yeah, stainless. Thirty nine by thirty eight. So it's thirty eight millimeter. Thirty nine by thirty eight. Because it's that cushion yeah. shape. And it's how much? Fifty six hundred dollars. Nice. Sorry. Here we have the new Ballon Blue. Stainless steel. Automatic movement. Pulls back. It's a beautiful blue dial. Stainless steel. Give me the price on this, please. That one is uh, sixty-two fifty. Six thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Well done, Cartier. I like this watch. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think you guys are doing some great things. Thanks for showing me all the new uh, uh, 2018 novelties. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you coming. Enjoy the partnership and look forward to building the business together. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank I'll you. see you in Philadelphia. Absolutely. I'm going back to uh, celebrate uh, uh, with the fans of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a big Super Bowl party uh, on Thursday. So. Um, I'll miss the parade because I'm working. Yeah, he's working. <laughs> That's okay. He's in San Diego. Anyway. So, um, um, just finished my meeting at Cartier and I'm actually in a car right now headed to the airport. What a wonderful experience. Wish I could have shared more with you, but uh, it's a short trip. So, hopefully you like the show and there will definitely be more where that came from. See you guys in Philly. And there we are, leaving San Diego, headed back home. Luckily I was uh, upgraded on this leg of the flight. There we are, flying over the Rockies. I mean, we really do live on a giant continent. I don't miss travel. <laughs> so watching that video, I, I just came to uh, the, the realization as to why I left uh, Roger Dubuis and uh, the other side of the equation. I, I mean, that travel beat the hell out of me. I left Philadelphia Tuesday morning and uh, was on, I think, altogether four separate flights because I couldn't find a direct flight. I got back to Philadelphia Wednesday night. So all in all, I probably spent about 20 hours um, traveling. And uh, in any case, it was a great experience. Uh, I want to thank everybody at Cartier for allowing me to be there uh, as a representative of uh, Gobberg Jewelers and sharing with me your 2018 novelties. I had a couple of favorites. Uh, ob obviously, the Revelation uh, d'une Panthère was one of my favorite watches, um, followed by all the new Santos, specifically the Skeleton Automatic. Actually, the, <laughs> sorry, the Skeleton. And then finally, the uh, Santos Dumont with the... Uh, with the Tiger uh, um, engraved dial. So those were my top three from what I saw, but I saw a lot of interesting pieces. Cardi, I think you're on to doing some great things going forward. Um, obviously, uh, I'm a fan, my wife's a fan, and uh, I am wearing the, uh, the Roadster today to uh, represent. Um, everybody else, I wanna thank you all for tuning in and 
trying this experiment with me. I did want to bring uh, my perspective to you as to what it's like to be an invited guest uh, to one of these trips uh, in, uh, by a brand. So um, Eric, Rudy, Mercedes, everybody else, I want to say thank you so much uh, for giving me this experience. It was, it was a great, great uh, um, time that I had and uh, I'm glad that I was able to share it with all my viewers. Until uh, next week, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Cheers and see you next Tuesday.